Are both board members and teachers want students to return to class on Monday, but that's going to take some work over the weekend as the sides didn't agree to a deal yet so far today. This strike, which started on November 1st, carries on. A Portland Public Schools spokesperson says the main issue is agreeing on class size committees and overage payments for when there are too many students in a class. PPS says parents shouldn't be involved in educational decisions that involve other people's children, leaving individual class size decisions to teachers and administrators. The teachers union said today that PPS has insisted on reopening additional issues on top of the class side discussion before settling a contract. PPS said it can't finalize teacher compensation, for example, until there's a class size agreement. So as it stands, students have already missed 11 days of instruction in the month of November. PPS has also canceled family teacher conferences and teacher planning days. Making up these school days could mean stretching into the summer, shortening spring break or extending school hours. But first, the sides need to reach a deal and return and a return to school on Monday has been the target for the past week. That would require successful bargaining and an agreement over the weekend. Blair.